Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Iris and in today's video, we'll be going through my entire week. Right now, we're kind of in a time skip because I'm at the beach and I already started filming earlier today. Today's Sunday, we'll be filming until next Sunday or next Monday because I'm also going to the Czech Republic because there's like a quick break. So then I'll see my family again. So let's just get started with the video. Hi everyone, so Myrta is here, which is really fun, but it's really beautiful over here and I love it. And it's so great to finally see Myrta again. There's lots of this sea foam everywhere, which kind of reminds me of The Little Mermaid. Because we were we went too far. <laughs> oh my god, so we had to run back.
So now it's already Wednesday. I read one book over the weekend and I got some books when I was with Myrta, which was really fun and was a great weekend overall. I loved it. So let's get into it. I'm currently rereading Strange the Dreamer. So I got this paperback copy because now I'm annotating it. I'm currently reading this copy, but then Danalina will read it and she will annotate it as well and then I'll reread it. And we did that with the Song of Achilles as well. So now we're just kind of continuing it as a tradition or something. And with Danilina, I'm also going to the Czech Republic this weekend, which will be really fun. But let's get back to Strange the Dreamer. So this book is about Lazo Strange, who has always been entranced by this one city. And the city is now called Weep, but that's not its original name, as he calls it it leaves a sour or a salty taste in his mouth. He literally felt it disappear from his brain. And he's always just been fascinated by everything about the city. Like even when he finds a receipt that might have something to do with the city. And it's this magical city that people don't really believe exist anymore. It's basically become kind of this mystery to everyone and only Lasso seems to be the one who is interested in it or knows anything about it. And he was raised as an orphan and then he went to work as a librarian and he's just a great character, literally like his nose is a bit crooked because a very large book of fairy tales and stories fell on his head. I think that those small little details that Lainey Taylor adds to this story are just great and the writing is gorgeous. I'd say it's more flowery writing. This book just feels like a warm hug to me even though it's heartbreaking and the foreshadowing is just awesome. I think you should definitely read it. So I'm currently doing a reread of that. By the way, um, for my annotations, I'm not sure if I want to show anything. I know, like it kind of looks like this or this. So I use this purple Tombow to highlight quotes and stuff. Then I have this Pilot Friction pen that you can erase if you want to, but it's just like a purple pen so that we know who wrote what. Yeah, so I'm using this pen for that. And then I'm just using these tabs, but I'm only using the blue ones for moments that I think really stand out to me or are extremely great, not necessarily for anything specific, more like quotes and things that I just really love or things I might want to go back to. So that's basically my annotation process. Then the next book that I'm reading is Outsu. Oh, I don't have the dust jacket on. I'm actually borrowing this from Danalina, which who I just talked about. I'm currently on page 298. I'm really enjoying it so far. I usually don't necessarily love reading books in Dutch, especially books that are translated from English, for example. This is written by Christopher Paolini. I think he also just, last year he came up with this huge science fiction novel, I think. But this is a series, and um, this is the second book in the series. It has this great map, and it's about Eragon, who finds this stone somewhere when he's outside and then he tries to sell it because he isn't that rich of a person and then he discovers things about the stone and more and more things start to unfold it's in this really cool land i'm not sure if it's inspired by anything this book has lots of magical creatures it has dragons dwarfs elves shades i think that's what they're called and lots of other things it's quite a slow story i would say it has these training scenes and stuff which i really like in book one there was also this travel story which continued in book two a lot happens and there are multiple perspectives which i won't go into because i think it might give you spoilers and i love the fact that there's a dragon in this there's like this evil dude who rules the empire so if it sounds interesting to you, definitely read it. So those are the two books that I'm currently reading. This weekend when I was with Myrta, we also decided to reread books from this series that we used to read when we were uh, really young. It was one of the books that got us into reading. It's in Dutch as well. 
and it has lots of these illustrations and stuff literally everywhere and they are all basically the same base of the story but then with different characters in different setting so i read book three from this series and it was okay i gave it three stars out of five this is translated from italian originally which is really cool and now you can continue to the three books that i got with Mirta. So for two books, I used a gift card because it was my birthday on March the 14th, so last month. And Mirta also got me one book for my birthday, which is really kind of her and I'm really thankful. So thank you for that. That book is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. What I know about this book is that it's about the main character, whose name I don't know, in this world where pilots have become the heroes because stuff is going on. It's about this main character whose father was a pilot and now she's trying to train to become a pilot herself. I think that's what I know. From what I gather from the back of this book, there's something with aliens and a battle between the aliens. So maybe that's also like with the cover of the book, that aliens are invading the earth or something. It sounds really good. That's this book. I'm really excited to read this. Then I got The Lilac Green Doesn't Care. I actually don't know that much about this book. This was a new find. So I just decided to pick it up and see. I think it's a rom-com or something. And it looks like it's sapphic. Then I was like flipping through the book and I saw Iris. So there's a character named Iris. And then I was like, okay, I have to get this book. I need to see what it's all about. I think it has something to do with a wedding where these two characters get confronted with each other and a romance starts blooming. And I'm really excited to read it. And so the last book that I got was Heartstopper Volume 4. And this is a beautiful cover. I just love this series so much. I had already read this book digitally once. And so now I do have all the volumes in paperback editions. They do cover some heavy topics, but they just feel like this warm hug. So it's about Nick and Charlie. Wait, I'm doing it wrong. This is Nick and this is Charlie. And it's just gorgeous, beautiful. Chef's kiss. And also Tori, the sister, is one of my favorite characters. And I also love Tara and Darcy as a couple and as characters. It's beautiful and I just love it so much. It is like a graphic novel, as you can see, so if you don't like it, maybe it won't be for you, but I made Myrta read uh, volume one and she really loved it, even though she usually doesn't really like reading um, graphic novels, but she really loved it, so I'm very happy about that. So keep that in mind, though so I'd say definitely try it out. I even think they are on webtoon for free so i don't think much is stopping you from actually picking this series up and reading it so i'll just see you in the next update now it's 4 38 p.m on thursday and now it's basically like the short little break thingy so i don't have school anymore and i just finished my homework and in a few minutes i'll be going to tennis training so i just want to let you guys know about that and i'll give you an update later when i'm packing the books and stuff So I've decided that these are the bookish things that I'm taking with me. I have this pencil case with annotation stuff and also a tiny sketchbook if I want to draw. Then I'm taking Strange the Dreamer, which I've already started. I'm also taking Out, which I've also started and already talked to you about. And then I'm taking the Henna Wars, which I haven't talked to you about yet. And this is the back if you want to read it. So I haven't talked to you about this yet, but I'll do that later because now I have to move on and do other stuff. So, bye!
Grosvenor Square, 1813. Dearest reader, the time has come to place our bets for the upcoming social. So we've arrived, yay! We're extremely tired. Um, yes. Yeah, so this is where we're sleeping. Yeah, but um, yeah, now we're gonna eat. So we're now walking to the chickens. Yes. <laughs> Misha's barking. But we're gonna give them some food because so literally. Hi, they're here. Hello chickens. <laughs> and we're here. Kunnen ze dat überhaupt eten, al dat schil? Ja, dit is het eten. Ze eten hun eigen and fed the chickens which is great and we also saw Misha the dog and um, yeah so now we're on a walk Now we're walking in the woods and we're going to get some water from the little stream thingy. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I'm back home now. It was such a long trip. We were already exhausted before we went into the car, but we're here now and it was a great time in the Czech Republic. It was awesome. And so I think I'll be wrapping up the reading that I did and then I'll end this vlog. So let's just start with the books. Um, so I brought the three books with me and I didn't end up reading much in Strange the Dreamer. I think I read um, half a page to be exact. Um, I was just too uh, excited to read the other books first, but, uh, but that's fine. I just took it with me for emotional support then and it was great to just hug it every day. I don't know, is it weird that I do that? I like hugging my books. Next, I actually finished Outsta. Now I put the dust jacket back on and tomorrow I'll give it back to uh, Danalina and it was great, I actually ended up giving it 4.5 stars but I'm still not entirely sure if, well, mostly I'm not sure if I like this one better or if I like the first book better at the moment it's giving me 4.5 star feels so I just decided to give it that and I might change it later I think I like the first book better I'm, I'm just not sure because the first part of the book was kind of hard to get into it took a long time multiple perspectives and those kinds of things and then the end was really great um, I actually predicted everything which is kind of cool um, but it actually worked out in a way that it didn't annoy me that I predicted it it was just fun it's like oh I predicted it you know I was also talking about it with Danielina because she was with me in the Czech Republic and so it was just a wonderful time. But yeah, so that concludes Outsta. And then when I finished this, I finished this yesterday evening. And so I decided to start The Henna Wars today. And this book, this book, it's so good. I'm currently on page 275. And I'm actually um, underlining and also writing some definitions in this book. Just, uh, it's not that much. Just underlining with a gray pencil and it's really enhancing the reading experience for me. Just, it helps me stay focused and then I can also read back those parts and discuss them, for example, with my friends or just um, think about them for a really long time. But this book is just wonderful. I love the story, I love the characters, there are all some heavy topics in this book and I just love that right at the start of the book there's a content warning that's just perfect. I love that I love it when books include content warnings because it's really important for people's mental health and I love the cover. It's gorgeous. Oh my god. And I also really adore the fonts. And this is the spine. And then I also love that they're here on the back. The hands have come back as like a little bit of an extra design element. My only question right now is what will happen next in this book? 
I'm really enjoying this. It's giving me 4.5 or 5 star feels. It depends on how it ends and if I like the ending. Um, I believe I only have like 100 pages left or something. And so that um, is what I read today because um, I read this in the car when we were going back home. This book had me emotional really quickly. The things that are being said and some characters' misbeliefs um, are just heartbreaking. Some characters I just despise. Other characters I'm like, wow, you're really strong for having to go through that. And then other characters are just wonderful because they're so being supportive and stuff. And they really feel like a warm hug, those characters, which is wonderful. Um, so those are my opinions currently. Those are basically the three books. And so I hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog. I know that I didn't give that many updates, but I hope you still enjoyed seeing parts of my life. I mostly make these videos to look back on them myself later and then relive the experiences or listen to myself talk about books that I either enjoyed or didn't enjoy and just my thoughts and stuff like that. I really enjoy bringing you guys along on this journey. And so if you reach the end of this video, you can leave this emoji down below and